Well, hey, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, in your role with Habitat for Humanity, how have you seen um, those that you serve affected by the coronavirus? The population that we work with, our homeowners and our future homeowners are especially vulnerable um, during mm -hmm. times like this. A large number of them have been impacted by being furloughed or having a loss of hours, having their hours substantially cut back. Um, and so, you know, they are back. The homeowners who we've gotten into a good living situation are now back facing those challenges of making decisions between making their mortgage payment or buying food. And for a lot of them, they had finally gotten out of that because of their home. And now they find themselves kind of right back in it. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And um, our Latino families have been hit especially hard by this mm. because so many of them work in the food service industry um, and also because there's just not the kind of assistance available to them that, that are available to our um, American families, yeah. our citizens. Yeah. So what are some things that you guys are doing at Habitat to come alongside of those families who have been affected by this? The first thing that we've done, I think the most important thing is just outreach to every homeowner and every person that's in our program currently mm -hmm. um, to let them know that it's safe to talk to us, um, that they, they don't need to be afraid of us at this point in time. We really just want to help them um, in ways that, that we can. Um, what part of that is providing resources resources that are available to them in the community. Um, we've been directing people to apply for Indiana's Hardest Hit Fund to help with their mortgage mm -hmm. payments. Um, but then also just making sure they know that there are options um, available to them when it comes to their mortgage payments. We, mm -hmm. you know, our, our primary mission right now is to keep people housed. And mm -hmm. so we want to make sure they know what the options are that are available to them to keep them in their homes at this time. So what are some, some things that you're seeing, um, some good good news things that you're seeing uh, through those that you serve right now? I think first and foremost, just how amazing this community is that we live in. We've had so many people <laughs> reach out and want to know how they can help. Um, we've had people just offering to pray for us, um, having people, you know, offer services or just words of inspiration um, and hope as well as financial support. And I can't thank uh, Sherwood Oaks enough for the rapid response um, grant that you guys have provided to us. That, that's amazing. And, and we're so, so blessed to um, be in your circle and are just so thankful for that. We've had people um, write letters to us and send checks to say, this is my stimulus check. I don't, I don't need this money. I know you guys and your homeowners could really benefit from us. And um, that's incredibly generous especially right now. Um, and then we have, uh, we have a neighbor in our Trailview neighborhood who has decided to help other neighbors plant gardens so that they will have healthy oh, and affordable wow. summer. Yeah, wow. and I think that's a real testament to the fact that we don't just build homes, but we truly build communities um, yeah. among our homeowners. And so just seeing those neighbors help other neighbors has, has been really, really inspirational. That's great stuff, Wendy. Well, thank you for all that you're doing um, with Habitat in your communities, serving those families during this time. And I can speak on behalf of Sherwood Oaks. We are just honored to be able to come alongside of you uh, as you serve those um, in, in their our community.